Hello everyone. Um, we're back again and Bob is going to show you how he made a, or we're in the midst of it because this is part one, how he made a turntable um, for the layout here. And he's going to go into it and explain the various different ways um, of all the, all the stuff he had to get to make this thing happen. So I'm going to turn this over to Bob and let him explain it to you. Okay. okay Bob. Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Bob, and uh, this is a uh, turntable base that I started making. And we went out to uh, a hobby shop, and we bought this this little kit here, motor kit, and it has a uh, high and a low gear speed. So we put it on the low low speed to uh, get it to where we can actually make it run a slow enough so that the turntable won't turn so fast. And I made a little block here to mount it on, and it's got this little shaft here that's adjustable so that you can make it go up a little bit higher if you need to, or lower when we get ready to put the, uh, the actual bridge portion on for the track. I first started out with making this round circle. This one here happens to be about 13 and a half inches and What is end, that wood? What is that, Bob? This is just a thin plywood. Plywood. Just something that's that'll stay fairly flat. And on the inside this has already been painted but under the track here there's actually a second ring that uh, I put on the inside there and it's made out of hardboard, just masonite, and cut a ring with a uh, about an eighth of an inch uh, little inset. So when this this piece here, which this is actually the center piece, is actually made out of uh, the uh, matting that you would get at for a picture frame, and. Mm. We, I cut the, uh, the the circle out here to fit inside here, and glued it right at the the center here, so that it kind of shows a little bit of a slope. It's hard to see it at this scale, but there is a little bit of a slope there. And why is this? Why? What's the slope for? Why it's just we... like in a, a drainage. Oh, I see what you're saying. In, okay. in the you know real train world. Okay. And uh, what gauge is that track this, there? This is HO gauge track that I split. Oh. I split okay. it in half, a piece of flex track, and then soldered it together. Cool. So Very then the outside here is also that same material that uh, you can see the thickness of it right there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, you can get it in all different colors. It's just this material that you use for making, you know, matting, matting a picture. And I cut a couple, I cut a strip long enough. This just happens to be about 44 inches around this diameter here. It's hard it to believe it like is. It, but it it's, is. It's hard to believe that's 44 inches around. And I, I glued it onto the uh, plywood, and then I also used a pin nailer and, and nailed it, nailed it around there. And then I, Underneath here, it's just a you can kind of tell that it's just a not quite straight right there. I kind of filled that in with some uh, drywall uh, stuff and then sanded it down smooth. And then this this extra lip here, I I cut a little thin piece out of that and glued that on. Hmm. And then so this is the end result of of this turntable. Then comes the mechanism inside because the bridge, and here's here's the a part of it that it's not quite finished yet. We're, this is just the beginning part of it. There's going to be a lot more detail on it, but that will set down over over this track here. And I also made this little jig to align these little end gauge uh, trucks that will go down and ride 
in this track here. If you just kind of push it around there, you see it runs pretty smooth going around there. And that's cool. not even on center, so. And that's in gauge wheels. Right. This little trucks. What it, I got the measurements here so that way I can transfer right onto the bottom of this, this bridge, and then then I'll have to find the center of that uh, that pin right there. So the end gauge wheels does not have any problems on a HO scan right. track. Okay. It just it goes around. Okay. Now here's another little mechanism to make the track hot that I actually built out of uh, just uh, what is that uh, brass tubing and styrene and I'm going to take it apart here just to show you what it looks like and let's see here this part here is one of the leads that goes through comes up through this little bitty hole that's down over here mm -hmm. that will supply we can actually kind of install this a little bit here and it goes down in through there and sets right on this and that will just be stationary Okay. and then we have this other piece here if I can get that apart this piece here also goes down through there and I put a little washer on there so that it it will the uh, next piece will ride a little bit better now I also did that on this one but to keep it from shorting out I put a piece of Teflon tape to coat that so that it wouldn't short out as it rides around there so we'll just put that right in there like so we can get it through there and lift it up a little bit and that, that goes on there like so now you see it's fitting sloppy well here comes the little styrene piece to guide it and it just fits right down in there and it's still a little bit sloppy that's because there's two other pieces here and I'm not going to take them apart because they're yeah. this this is your your leads for the that will go into the uh, the inner lead so you'll have contact there as far as your power goes and we'll just slip this right on here the one will go right in between there and then this this bigger one here contacts this little area here which will put the power for the other uh, lead and once you get that in there let's see here there we go and we'll just kind of bend these wires out of the way here as you can see as the bridge rotates around these these will follow along with it and that will be the the uh, power for the for the track itself okay so, fantastic so. that is fantastic and then put a lot of time little, put in that right yeah <laughs> and then there's this little pin here that actually goes in here in that this one's not the one that came with the kit I just took a piece of coat hanger and stuck it in there it actually works better than the uh, the piece because the other one wedges in there and this little cap here which has kind of a little cross member that will actually allow you to mount it underneath here and if you need to take the bridge off it'll just go on there and then that locks in and just the weight of the bridge will hold that in position so Fantastic. Until the next time. Until so we get further. All righty. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Okay.